Welcome to another edition of ICRT Weekly News, your recap of the biggest and most important easy news stories of the past seven days. A poll commissioned by the New Power Party shows a majority of respondents say that the government should amend laws to offer better assistance to people from Hong Kong wishing to seek asylum here in Taiwan. According to the survey, 60.3% of respondents believe the government should amend the laws and regulations regarding Hong Kong and Macau affairs to meet the needs of asylum seekers from the former British territory. The results of the survey come as the NPP, the KNT and the Taiwan People's Party are all calling for the government to amend laws to provide clearer and more specific guidelines regarding asylum seekers from Hong Kong and Macau. The Ministry of the Interior says the government plans to offer rewards of up to 20,000 NT for information leading to the arrest of foreign nationals who have overstayed their visas. According to the ministry, the reward program will be officially rolled out soon and include 2,000 NT for information that leads to the arrest of one overstayer and 5,000 NT if if it leads to the arrest of four to six overstayers. The reward then rises to 10,000 NT for the arrest of seven to nine foreign nationals who have overstayed their visas and increases to 20,000 NT for 10 or more. However, employers or employment agencies who work with overstaying foreign nationals will not be eligible for the rewards. The British government has announced that those in England taking public transport will have to wear face coverings from June 15th, when most shops reopen. Officials also say that face coverings will be mandatory from the date non-essential stores, such as department stores and electronic retailers, Officials also say that face coverings will be mandatory from the date non-essential stores, such as department stores and electronic retailers, are scheduled to reopen. The officials say failure to abide by the requirement could potentially lead to fines. Young children and people with disabilities and breathing difficulties will be exempt. Earlier this week, the government said it would require anyone flying into the UK from abroad to quarantine for 14 days after their arrival. Authorities in Bangladesh have confirmed the first death of a Rohingya refugee. Officials say the 71-year-old refugee died Saturday and samples collected from him tested positive on Monday. The man died in an isolation center set up by the government and aid agencies. Infections are rising in camps where more than one million Rohingya Muslims have been living since fleeing from neighboring Myanmar. At least 29 Rohingya refugees have tested positive for the disease. Aid agencies and government officials say the challenge of handling a wide outbreak of the virus in the overcrowded camps could be huge. President Nicolas Maduro says starting today, Venezuelans will be able to buy gasoline at international market prices. Venezuelans will also be able to buy a limited amount of subsidized gasoline each month. Maduro says the government will continue to pay for all fuel used by public transportation. Venezuela has the world's largest underground oil reserves, but it has been forced to buy fuel from Iran as it is unable to pump crude from the ground. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro has accused the United States for leading an economic war against Venezuela, while Maduro's critics say years of corruption and mismanagement by the socialist government led to scarcities. And that's the most important easy news for this week. Remember, if you want more English practice, you can check out these English learning videos here. And if you like what you saw, 不要忘了按赞、订阅、还有开启小铃铛。